Welcome to this month's Highland Hit. I'm Sandy. So this time, all you're going to need are two towels, washcloths, any kind of material that glides along the floor. So if you have a smooth floor, I picked up two towels. And we're going to start out with two exercises here. We're going to alternate between, okay? I want to make sure that you've got safety number one. So when you use the gliders on your feet, make sure that the glider is beneath the ball of your foot and your heel has access to the floor. This way you have like a way to break on the floor to stop yourself, as well as to push off, okay? Otherwise, your foot just keeps gliding. So once you've found the position underneath the balls of your feet, for 30 seconds, you're gonna go side to side a little bit, pushing one leg back into a deep lunge, okay? Now you may need to start with this movement kind of slowly at first to take a little bit of practice, and as you're focusing on this, you want to think about pushing through this front heel that's on the floor to stand up. Once you get smoother with it, more comfortable, you pick up the tempo, which makes it harder. 30 seconds of those. 10 second recovery. We're going to just keep our feet right where they are. We come down on the floor, right on into your plank position. For 30 seconds, mountain climbers. But you'll notice I'm not picking up my feet. I'm pushing my feet into the towels, into the floor, keeping my break plank for 30 seconds. What you're gonna find is gonna wanna happen is the hips are gonna wanna kinda come up, right? And we don't get that full stretch. Think about getting that full stretch during your mountain climbs. After a 10 second recovery there, you're back up doing your lunges, all right? So you're gonna cycle through those two exercises four times to get that heart rate up and to really feel the core and the glutes and the quadriceps engaging, okay? Try it out, let me know how it goes, and good luck.